Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Denise Yesbeck Moore. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this Boholicious leather bracelet. The tools and supplies you will need to create this bracelet are wire cutters, two chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, the brand is Lindstrom. You will need seven ply waxed linen cording. Um, some type of glue, you can use super glue, I like the gel control or the GS Hypo Cement glue. You need an assortment of beads, a little charm, some head pins, eight millimeter jump rings, a button that has two holes at the top. We don't want one with four, we just want one with two. And some leather straps. We're gonna start off by cutting a 42 inch length of seven ply wax linen cording. I have decided to start going through and stretching my wax linen cording. I have found that sometimes it'll stretch a little bit, so I think we should start stretching it. So just go ahead and stretch it a little bit. So we just folded our 42 inch length of seven ply wax linen cording in half. And now we are going to pick up an eight millimeter jump ring and we're gonna pass that through just like that. And we're gonna bring the cords, so open that a little bit, back through. This is called a lark's head knot. And we're gonna slide that down and you can see how it attaches. Uh, make sure if you're using your jump ring that the ring is closed very tightly. Now we're going to come to the end of our cord and our cord's a little bit off. So we're going to trim that because it'll make it easier to slide it into the bead hole if they're, if they're even. And wax linen cording is waxy, so I'm just rolling it together to form a little needle. And then we're gonna come back in and we're gonna grab this agate stone and we're gonna string that stone down. We're gonna form an overhand knot. And I'm holding it at the end. And then we're just moving that knot down. We're gonna push it nice and tight and separate the strands. Grab the end and we're gonna grab this little brass arrowhead. We're gonna string that through. I have mine facing the same way. You can face yours the opposite way. We strung it down. back through. We're forming our overhand knot with our fingers. We're just moving that knot down, pulling it tight, separating the strands. Now we're going to start stringing our little agates. So we're going to pass the agate through. Bring it down so it's right up against the knot. We're forming our overhand knot, holding it right here, bringing that knot down with our fingers, separating the strands, pulling it tight. Let's go to our next one string it through 
in order to make this bracelet, you need to make sure your beads have a larger hole. We strung that down. We're forming our overhand knot. I'm holding the bead in place, sliding the knot down. Pushing it down, separating the strands. Coming back in, I'm just fixing my needle a little bit. Stringing our next bead. Pull it down. Form our overhand knot, holding the bead, and I'm just moving that knot down, separating the strands. I pulled it tight. We have three more to go. It's butted right up against the other knot. Wrapping it around my fingers, pulling it, holding the bead, sliding that knot down, opening, pull it tight. Whoops, fix our little needle. Sliding that bead down. It's right up against the other knot. Forming an overhand knot. I'm holding that bead. We're sliding the knot down. Separating the strands. And our last one. We're picking up the agate. We're stringing it through. Coming down, it's butted right up against that knot. Forming our overhand knot. And we're just gonna move that knot down, separate the strands, and pull tight. So we have finished the side of the bracelet, so now we're gonna add the button. A great place to look for buttons is um, anywhere you would go to look for a button. Let's say uh, Michael's, Joann's, um, a fabric store. Sometimes you can search Etsy and look for two hole buttons and you can find some really unique buttons. So we're gonna go through the back and we're gonna slide it through and then we're going to bring it down and we're going to slide it back through the other side and now we are going to move that button all the way down so we just move that button down we're going to go around our fingers and around the button we are gonna come under. We're gonna form another overhand knot and we're just pulling, pulling that nice and tight so you can see how the knot looks there. Now I'm going to separate the strands and I'm gonna wrap it around this way. And I'm just forming a regular knot. I'm gonna pull that down and pull it really tight. So that's what the back side 
looks like. We're now gonna come in and we're gonna trim these ends off. Okay, make sure you know where you trim them because this is where we're gonna put our glue. So we're gonna come in and what I like to do is go around and I'm gonna dab it all the way around so that I know that that knot isn't gonna come undone. And now we need to let that dry. So this is what the bracelet looks like so far. We've added the button and the bracelet's coming this way. Now we need to add the leather. Now we're gonna come back in and we're gonna cut a 15 inch length of leather. I like to, I have already done it here, but I like to take my, um, my wire cutters and I cut them at an angle. I think it looks nicer than cutting it this way. So we cut it and we are just going to string one side of the leather through. You can decide which side, which side you like better. I like this side better. And I'm putting them together. And I moved it down. We're gonna go right about right about here and we're going to take it I'm trying to keep the leather flat we're going to wrap it around we're just forming another overhand knot we're sliding it down and we're going to pull that nice and tight making sure the leather is on the same side we also want to make sure that our button has enough room to go through so we can go right about here and we're just going to come around come under grab those ends Pull that knot nice and tight. Let's check and see if our button goes through, which it does. So that's good. Now the ends are a little off. So we can come back in. We can trim this little end. You can put the knot here and the knot further down here. You can cut your leather cording a little bit longer depending on the person's size of the wrist. The knots are totally adjustable in length, but this is what we want to make this bracelet fit around your wrist. So you may have to tweak it a little bit. We're now gonna attach our jump rings right here. You could use 26 gauge wire and wrap it around to secure it, but on this particular one, I use jump rings. This is how you open and close the jump ring. So we're gonna open that, come over, grab it, and we're gonna close that jump ring and slide it down. Gonna open it, attach it, grab the other side, whoops. Close that jump ring, slide it down. Open the jump ring.
We're attaching it, closing the jump ring, and we're sliding that jump ring down. Now we're gonna attach our charm. So let's open our jump ring, attach the charm, go to the bracelet, making sure it's closed and we attached our charm. Next, we're gonna make a uh, wire wrap dangles to put on each side. So we're grabbing a head pin, and I wanna take off one of these little bead caps. I'm sliding that down, and I'm picking up another agate. This one's dyed aqua. And another one of these little bead caps. And then we're gonna pick out one of these little brass spacer beads. And we're gonna form a partial wrapped loop. We're using our round nose pliers. We're bending the wire back moving the pliers up, bending the wire towards us, moving the pliers to the side, bending our wire back. And that loop looks a little wonky. So I'm just gonna pull it. Did you see how I pulled that wire and the loop looks round now? And I'm just gonna move it and I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna open it a little bit. I'm going to attach it. And now we are going to get ready to wrap. So grab my chain nose pliers and we are going to wrap one Two, let's see if we can go three. So we did three. We're gonna come back over with our wire cutters. We're trimming off that end. We're gonna flip it around. We're gonna flatten out our loop. And we wanna make sure this wire is tucked. And there is our first dangle. Let's create our second dangle. Same thing. We're grabbing a beaded head pin, taking one of the spacers off. The bead stops the spacer from coming off. And then we're grabbing another aqua agate. And then another spacer. And then another one of these little brass beads. We're going to bring that down, and now we're going to form our partial wrapped loop, bending the wire back. Moving the pliers up, bending the wire towards you, moving the pliers to the side, bending the wire back. That loop came out good. We're going to remove it, open it, come to the other side, and attach it, and then we're going to go. We're holding it right there. We're going to switch hands, grabbing our chain nose pliers. We are going to wrap one, two, and let's see if we can go three. Three. 
about three. We're going to come around. We're going to trim off that little end. We're going to flatten the loop. And then just flatten this wire down. I see a little bit of movement on that bead, so I'm just going to squish it just a little bit so it doesn't move out of place. And there you have it, how to create my Boholicious bracelet. This bracelet, you may need some help getting it on and off. Some bigger chunky bracelets, you need somebody to help you attach it. It looks great on. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe at Denise Yes Back More. Click the little bell so you will receive notifications on when I post new DIY videos. Follow me on Instagram at Denise Yes Back More. If you have comments or questions, please leave a comment. I love talking to beaters worldwide. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.